Okay, today we're going to walk you through downloading JD, the Java Developers Kit or Development Kit and Eclipse, which is the Integrated Development Environment or IDE that we're going to use to uh, write and uh, generate and compile our programs. So I um, I'm currently using a MacBook Pro that I'll be doing these videos and all this work on. And you can see I'm running OS X version 10.8.2. This is, I believe 10.8 is known as Mountain Lion, but I just got this machine, so I'm not exactly super well versed. But like everything, like many things in, in uh, programming, we're just going to download JDK and we want version 7 or, or version 1.7. We're just going to try that. So let's go here. Oh, these are the instructions. So we're going to, I think it's this one. Nope, not that one. Let's type OSX. How about that? So this is a document, I think, that is going to tell us how to do it. So we need to find these files to download. So let's just keep searching around here. This looks promising. Okay, this looks promising here. Then we're gonna download the max. I'm running a 64-bit. And the JDK contains the JRE. The JRE is the Java runtime environment. Um, but the JDK contains that and has a few other goodies. So um, <clears throat> we're gonna download that. So is that download. And while that is going, you can see that there are some other instructions here, 64-bit JDK on Mac. And when, we, when this finished, finishes downloading, we will follow those. OK, so we can see that our uh, DMG installer file for the J JDK 7 has downloaded. So I'm just going to run it. I'm just going to verify. that. Okay, so we're going to walk through here. Type in my password. Okay, so okay, let me show you how to, how to launch a terminal just because even though it's not going to be our main development environment, um, we're going to be using Eclipse. The terminal is, well, the terminal is not really a development environment, but it's really useful often, and, and so you should not be scared of it. So I'm going to go here, create a new terminal here, and you can see mine. Yours may look different than mine. Mine, I, I have, mine's green and a little bit transparent, as you can see. That's just kind of the way that I like it. Um, but you can, if you want to learn how to customize your terminal, you can just Google around for how to do that. Um, in order to get this sort of equivalent terminal on the Windows side, you would go down to the Start menu, which is usually down in the bottom uh, left-hand corner, and click Run. And you can type in something um, in the little Run box. You can type in CMD, which is which opens the command line terminal in Windows. So in order to confirm that we have Java installed, Java 7 installed correctly, we're just going to type Java version like that. And it's the same command in Windows, and we can see that we're running version 1.7, which is what we want, of the Java runtime environment. And so it looks like we're good to go. Now that we have our JDK installed nicely on our machine, we're going to install Eclipse, which again is our IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, where, we're, where we will do pretty much all of our coding. OK, so same, same approach as last time. Just start with Google, so we're going to download Eclipse, and let's let's just say OS X just to see what we get. Okay, so here, what's this? Yes, so this is what we want. Now, Eclipse is nice also because it is cross-platform, so it's the same in uh, uh, Mac, in OS X, in uh, Windows 7. I don't know about Windows 8. And also, uh, for those of you who are running a Linux like a Ubuntu or some other kind of operating system. It's the same as same as well.
So we're going to download the IDE for Java developers right here. And since I'm running a 32-bit machine, I'm going to do that. Download there. Okay, now that we've downloaded Eclipse, which we see right here on, on our desktop, we can extract it. And you'll notice it's a tar.gz file, which is like a zip file. Um, it's just a different kind of compression. And you see here's the folder. It's got all sorts of fun things in it. So all we're going to do is just take this, drag it to our applications. Oh, so we already have it there. So <clears throat> it's just replacing it. And it's down here. And then we take this, and we would drag it here. But you can see I've already done that. So we're just going to leave it there. OK, so now if we run Eclipse, it says, oh, you need Java. Uh, this is actually Java uh, Runtime SE6, so we're going to install that. Now, it's unfortunately, I think we, we have actually installed a, a more recent version, so this may, um, this may actually be redundant to what we already have, but let's just see what we have here, see what we get. We can, we can always change the Java JRE that Eclipse looks for. Okay, so things look successful. Oh, so it doesn't like that it's from an unidentified developer. So we're going to just go here and say open. There we go. Okay, so it's telling me it wants to make a workspace. We'll just leave that like that for now. Again, you can always change that later if you want. And here's Eclipse, and we'll be using this um, throughout our our um, work to make and develop projects.